All right, all right, here we go. iPhone 12 review. This is the iPhone 12 Pro. Big phone, big, big, big phone, big, heavy phone. Uh, I already did one review, but then it turned out the sound was off, and I hadn't used the phone. I just did the unboxing, and I never do unboxings because, you know, you just open something. But nobody buys based on the box. But um, I will say that they did change things a little and made it definitely a lot less wasteful. In fact, it's not even a box. It kind of like... It's like a folding thing. It folds. Um, but this is the box. So, and I think it's uh, de biodegradable. I could probably burn this in the fireplace. It'd probably be okay. I don't think I should, but I think I could. All right. So iPhone 5. It does come in like, yeah, this little box. I'm not going to say what everyone else has already said. I'm going to say new things. Actually, I'm going to say a lot that people aren't going to like because I think a lot of iPhone fans say whatever you give them, they will just love um, automatically. They don't really care. They don't critique it because it's like iPhone. You can't critique iPhone. How dare you? Well, I'm going I'm to critique it a little. So let's begin. I'll get to the very end. I like it. I'm glad I uh, switched back. My story, I have a story. We all have stories, is that I was on iPhone for 10 years and then uh, when it came time to upgrade my 6, so I went from iPhone 3S to 4S to 6, uh, not S, but just the 6. In fact, it's recording my sound right now. It turns out this little uh, uh, microphone adapter still comes in handy so many years later. Uh, but it's just so light. It's so dainty. I actually, I use it with a case most of the time. But it's so light and dainty that I just think, oh, if only. Uh, Apple, I would say, because um, somebody said they really liked Apple. I said, I like Apple. I just, I wish they could do better. Um, I think that's the bottom line for me. It's just like, they, they're like a Formula One race car and they're going really fast and then they get closer to the finish line, they kind of slow down. So maybe they're still in first place, but they just let everyone else catch up because of some of the stupid decisions they do. But like I said, 20 months off, 20, that's hard to say, 20 months off, I should just say, nine, no, I still have to say months. I took a lot of time off and then I came back to it. So I skipped the iPhone. I think, did they do a seven? Maybe, I don't know, the eight and then the 10, and I think they did a 7, 7, 8, 10, X, or whatever they call it, and then 11, and then I finally went back to them. So I, I had to go back. We have to go back. That was a line from Lost. It is a line from Lost. Literary present. And one of the reasons I went to Google Pixel is the price. I mean, a used Pixel 2 XL about a year or two years ago was like really cheap. So that was a one thing. And a new iPhone was really expensive. So I kind of factored in the price. Always on. I like that. And, um... Uh, it doesn't really matter because I'm trying to review the iPhone 12 and not why I, I left and came back. But I will say that some of those features were pretty nice. Um, the always-ons, like squeeze to assist, but those things like made a big difference. And a great camera. Had a really good camera, the 2XL. Still does. In fact, I have it in front of me. Um, so I, I like this phone. I kind of, I miss some things about it. But, you know, we got to move on. So talking about the iPhone 12, the one thing I noticed right away is it just, it feels very heavy. I mean, it is kind of heavy, but it feels heavier than it is, I think. And I think it's just like, because they went with that forest design, so they kind of did retro, went back in time, tried an old design they did, which kind of like de-evolution or devolution, de whatever you call it. It's like, why would you go backwards? So it's like, retro isn't always better just because it's older. Um, so this squarish, boxy design, it's kind of hard to hold. It just... It doesn't feel comfortable. It just when I when I I mean this is lighter and it's bigger, but this thinner, rounder edges just they feel it feels more comfortable. And even my six still recording my sound. Ah, the six was just I didn't get the XL size, but uh, the six just feels really comfortable. It, this is like this is like the perfect phone. Um, it's just too bad we had to get these heavier phones because this is a really nice phone. Sucks that the, the just. It's just so light and dainty and, yeah, you barely notice you have it. And easy to hold in one hand for a long time and, eh. Oh, well, I mean, we get more stuff. I mean, I like the three cameras and extra lights and stuff. Yeah. Eh. Now, something to keep in mind that I, uh, I always liked, I've always had cases on my phones. I just, I just cannot stand the thought of paying so much money without a case. But I did get insurance this time, so I don't have to carry the case. Um... The case, you know, you put it on. Even these light cases with the heavier phone, man, yeah, that just starts going the wrong direction. So now I don't want to wear the, use the case. And I'm home most of the time anyway because of COVID. But, um, yeah, so I got, this is a very light case. This weighs nothing, but, you know, it weighs enough to make a difference. And it has a little, uh, you know, the stand, which I kind of like. Uh, but, eh, oh, well. Uh, I think it says patent pending. 
Patent, oh, patent number, okay. Anyway, all right, so you got this. So you put these things on. Now, something to keep in mind that when you do put these things on, um, if you have a nice handy little uh, charging stand, so they got the charging stands, they got the MagSafe, but I don't want to like, I just want it easy as possible. And this little puppy, this is the Nanani, Nanami Fast Charge. This is great. So you just like, yeah, light on there and it's gonna charge, right? Yeah, maybe. With this case on, it puts a little bit of difference because this has that little bump at the bottom for the, the thing. So I actually returned my first one I bought. Um, and then I found out it can work. I mean, especially if you go on the side, but it actually can also not work. Um, so I actually don't use the case much right now because when you put this on without the case, it's like always ready to go charging. I'm obviously not plugged in, but but yeah, these little puppies, I don't know, 15 bucks. And I bought, I bought two of them. They're just great. So I keep it in front of the computer, keep it from the bed. And yeah, that's like perfect little nightstand thing. But it doesn't, well, I'll get to that. Oh, a little more about the hardware. Um, yeah, it's like, that doesn't, so the other ones have had uh, like this kind of soft, well, that's not, that's Pixel, but Pixel's doing it now. But yeah, it's just, this feels, this metal is very cold and the edges are hard. I just, it's not comfortable. It's not, I'm kind of getting used to it, but it's just not fun to hold. It's, it's, it's not, it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. You know, I'll get used to it, but that's what kind of sucks. It's like, eh. Do better maybe next year, I guess. Maybe it'll feel right next year. A new phone, and you can do the math yourself and look up grams because I think this is a, the iPhone is a hundred and what is it? Hundred about one hundred ninety grams, um, and the six. I think the six was uh, one hundred forty. No, the four S was one hundred forty. I don't know. Anyway, the best thing to do is just yeah, try it out beforehand just to know like is this going to be comfortable? Because um, it might not. So one thing you really noticed is that it's like a taller and thinner screen than even the Pixel 2 XL, which is a pretty big screen. Um, but, and this is an apples to oranges comparison, but um, it's kind of like you're sacrificing the width for the height, which is, I guess, okay, but you really kind of notice it, it like when you're watching things. I didn't want an XL anymore because I didn't want to like constantly, my hand, and I have pretty big hands, I mean, I guess, but, this, I do notice the screen being smaller, so I'm just putting it out there that that is definitely something to consider. It's the kind of thing where you're probably going to want to go down to a Verizon store, an Apple store, and just try the different models and hold them for a little bit. I mean, spend some quality time there because, yeah, I don't regret it. I think this was the perfect phone for me, but because I didn't want to go to the XL anymore. And the weight of the XL, man, 220 grams or something, they're crazy. That's like half a pound. Now, my review isn't about the camera, I mean, comparing pictures, but I, I mean, from what I've seen, it does a pretty good job. I think um, even the Pixel 2 XL in low light, can sign, sometimes it seems like it does a little bit better of uh, bringing it out, and that's software, of course. Um, so I'm hoping that Apple can do some software updates to get their bump up the camera a little more. It's great. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think it, it beats the Pixel 5 in a lot of areas, but not in some areas from what I've seen. But uh, uh, low light video, I guess, is just like the top hands down the best so that's kind of cool but uh overall yeah i like the pictures and i think this is a great job i love having three cameras oh and the speakers are really cool too that was the one and the reason i didn't go with pixel 5 well the ecosystem was like that was not going to change but the speakers i guess on the pixel 5 are not very good uh especially the top one so yeah the speakers in this are great very loud i don't really use speakers on the phone that often so it's kind of a moot point i use the headphones when i'm listening to sound and apple people will already be used to this but yeah they got the notch I'm not used to the notch because I came from the Pixel 2 XL where it didn't have the notch. So eh, the notch is kind of annoying, even though it's in an area where on my last phone, I wouldn't be getting any pixels at all. So I don't know, but you get used to it, I guess. It's just, eh, there's a notch in my phone. There's a snake in my boots. And one last thing is kind of hardware related is that you're going to need a new SIM card probably, at least I did. And uh, if you're on Verizon, Verizon is pretty cool. You can go online and they'll mail you a card for free. Don't do that. Do not do that. They did that with me, and uh, they said, oh, it's going to take two days. I think it took eight. And you got to be there when they arrive because you have to sign for it. So that's kind of a pain because they also they scheduled it on, like, Veterans Day. And this is UPS's fault, too. But it was just a, a mess because I had to be home, like, all day. And then they just – my story is this gets from bad to worse. So I'm just saying – Go to the store, wait the wait in line for a little bit, do not order it online because it's just, it was a nightmare scenario. But I'm glad I finally went to the store. That's how I actually got it. I finally gave up and went to the store. So food for thought, or pro tip. 
All right, let's talk about the software. Software, software, software. If anyone gets this far in the review, and most people won't, but that's okay. Uh, it pays the same either way, which is nothing. Now, my first thing I was uh, commenting on, this isn't in the order of importance, but it didn't have the squeeze to assist, which I kind of like squeeze to bring up, but actually it does. You double tap and you get, um, or was it single tap? I don't know, something. You, you get, no, hold it down, you get Siri. Um, hey, Siri. So that's kind of cool. So basically they do have the squeeze to assist option now and that's, that's great. And now Siri's waiting for me to say something. I don't have nothing to say to you. Next, um, a small thing in the camera, which was kind of big for me is uh, this has, this is the 2XL, this has Photosphere. This doesn't have Photosphere. It's like, why didn't your camera app have, you know, the Photosphere, Photosphere, not easy to say, is where you just take a bunch of pictures in a 360 degree, like a globe, and then you're inside the globe you know, with software. So that is so cool. You can do a lot of great things with it. Um, so when you're traveling or on vacation, you take the photosphere and then you put it on Facebook and then someone can like scroll around and see what you're seeing. It's just the neatest thing. They don't have it. They why? Um, you can get it. You can get a, actually you get a download, a Google photo app location and then get it that way. But it's like, why would you not have that? It's like, I guess it's copying, but they've copied other things before. Ah. Biggest, biggest uh, problem I think that I've faced so far, I'm glad I used it for like a week, is that, uh, yeah, the call spam detection is terrible. It's like, it's not even there at all. And I got so spoiled with Google and the Pixel and, uh, you know, it had like the, uh, it would just alert you when calls were like suspected spam. I mean, they pretty much always were. So you can just not answer it or like block it. It's just very easy to block them and, you know, get it on your like block list, even though they're probably fake numbers to begin with, but still. They make it super easy, and the Google um, like kind of voice dictation or whatever. Like, basically, what you could do is uh, send a message to the person and says, "This is Google Voice," and I like, leave a message, and I'll uh, let the person know what you're saying. So it's kind of like a transcribed voice message, which is really cool. Apple doesn't have that. I'm like, ah, that was kind of even though technically you really shouldn't be using it because if you respond at all, it lets the other person know, or the machine know that the call was uh, it is a valid number. So there isn't something to be saying. Apple does have the uh, block or silence unknown callers, and I guess that's good enough, but it's just sort of like, I don't know, that's, you, you have to pay at that point. You can get, it's not like you can't get stuff for that, it's just you have to pay for it. And it's like, I don't wanna pay for it, it's just, throw it in for free, come on guys. One more nickel and dime thing. I already spent enough on the phone, but so. That's something I missed, but it wasn't enough to regret to get the phone. And a small note for me is I like the face unlock. One of the reasons I, I didn't want to go uh, to the iPhone 8 or on up is just like I didn't want to lose my uh, the, the uh, finger unlock, which I still kind of like, and I wish they did have both options. But the uh, the face unlock it works a lot better than I, I figured it would. So I'm kind of ha I'm very happy with that. Um, yes, I know these days people say well, it doesn't work with a mask. I know, but I don't wear a mask that much at home or in my car. And if I'm not Safeway, I'm not even on my phone that much. So when I'm wearing a mask. It's okay, it's not gonna be that much, hopefully longer, it might, but still. Whatever, I don't care, I like the face unlock. And by the way, the, the fingerprint didn't always work either in some situations, so you, if you're like uh, sweating, or like working out, or just taking a shower, there's a, there are situations where the fingerprint always wasn't working, so there's that too. So there are situations where neither one's gonna work and you're gonna type in your passcode. Very small nitpicky thing, they didn't include a wallpaper, They're, the wallpaper suck, and this may have happened in the past like 7, 8, 11, 10, whatever, but it's like I, I go to like load one of those cool wallpapers that we had on the 6, and there's just like nothing, like no earth, rotating earth, or the like the, uh, I don't know, the island, I had these cool animated wallpapers, gone. Like, what happened? They give you like four like lousy wallpapers. I did go find, I mean you can put the, your own on the phone and go find some cool art from like, uh, What's it called? Instagram? No, it's the other one. Uh, pick, pick to, I don't even know what they're called. I don't use the internet that much. But I found a cool, some cool artwork and I, I put it on there. I don't even know what it is. It's like picture pix something. I can't even think of it. I think the alerts were a little better on the Pixel 2 XL, um, the notification system, I, I think. I and mean, with it always on, then you had like in front of you, you kind of knew what was going on. But uh, so Pixel's better at that. Um, what can you do? I do miss the always on display. So yeah, you always had the always on display, always had it. Um, it was just kind of cool to be able to look at your phone and just kind of see the weather, the time. It was like your little alarm clock wherever you go. So, and 
Apple could do it if they wanted to. It's just they don't want to copy. They copy the wrong thing. So it's like they don't want to copy that thing. So they could do it, but Google did it first. So it seems like, yeah, you're just copying us, you hacks. So they're not going to do it, I guess, for now. It'd be great if they did, but the always on was a pretty cool feature. I miss that some. So the news on Apple just, it really kind of sucks. I mean, they actually loaded Google News, but the news thing is like um, all they're doing is trying to feed you into these sites to get you to pay for the sites or you got to pay for Apple. Now, I don't want to pay anymore. You already got my, you got a lot of money out of me. I'm done paying. So I don't want to subscribe to that. So I do miss, I think the news and the Google was a little better or is a little better, I should say. But uh, I do have the news app and they kind of, it works okay. It's not great, but it works okay. And still one of my biggest complaints about um, Apple and even the other phones, like most of the OSs these days, is just the icons are ugly. They were ugly eight, ten years ago. They're ugly now. They're just, I mean, well, actually, ten years ago they were pretty cool, but they've just gotten worse and worse. And now I, I say it's like a cat ate a box of crayons and vomited on a shoe. It's just, there's just, they're ugly. There's like no coherency, um, unity between them. And they're just they're too random. They don't make sense half the time. Um, the uh, photos are just these random circles. So it's like, I could go on and on about how awful the icons are. I wish more people were upset with that, but other people don't seem to care as much. I care. I think they screwed it up. Uh, whoever, I think Ives or whatever, I don't know. Years ago, they screwed it up, and it's still screwed up, and it's never getting any better. So hopefully someday we'll have good icons again. They're terrible. They weren't that much better on Pixel, but uh, they're, they're, they're just terrible. All right, well, there you have it. That's the, I could, actually, there's a lot more I can say, but I think I've said enough. <laughs> um, yeah, so not too comfortable. I'm getting used to it. I like it. There's a lot of cool things about it and the camera. I mean, I don't even carry my DL, DLSR anymore just because of it. The wireless charging, uh, that's nothing new. So some of the stuff's new to me, but uh, it may not be new to you. Um, the whole case situation, I haven't tested dropping it. I'm not going to drop it on purpose, but uh, I hope when it does fall, because eventually it will, that it stands up nicely. But the Apple iPhone 12 I, Pro, did I say that from the video? I'm sure I did. The Pro, um, yeah, I just wish it was more comfortable. And I wish they had the always on, and I wish they had uh, a better news app and better icon. There's a lot of my wishes, but overall, the, the pros outweigh the cons. So it's worth, I guess, getting. And I hope I have it for another. I usually have these, year, these phones for three or four years. So uh, it'll be around a while. I won't be reviewing anything until the iPhone 20, probably. So that's it. Peace out. Cheers.